We've done videos in the past on how to study technical things and the reality is when you are learning a new technical skill, regardless of where you are at in your career, whether you're a developer, product manager, anyone really, depending on how technical you want to get, there's a different way or different method to learning technical things at a much quicker rate and being more successful at it. I'm sure you've all seen these people who can pick up things quickly and they just, they just get it and you're like, what do they have? What is their secret? Today I'm going to share with you not only how to learn technical things quicker, but of course for this version of the video, we are going to be doing it with the help of AI. I really wanted to do another one of these videos of how to learn tech at a very quick pace, very efficiently, but with the help of AI because AI isn't going anywhere. It's becoming more and more ingrained in our everyday lives. And I've been seeing some really interesting ways that people are using and harnessing AI to learn probably quicker than before. And today we're gonna get into just that. So you're not like that one person who's stuck in the past. Also, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for more tech, coding, and career related content. All right, let's get into it. We're getting into it here. Let's sit down for this, this conversation. All right, this feels much more comfy. First one, before we even start diving into different AI tools to use and different tactics, have you identified your goals? Why are you learning these new technical skills? And maybe it sounds like, Tip, this is obvious. I'm learning so I can upskill, get a better job, or grow my career, get more money, more freedom, whatever the case is. Or maybe you're on the path of, I'm really interested in entrepreneurship. I wanna build my own app and start my own company. That's amazing too. But really having a focus and narrow in on what your specific goal is, is so important. Even just writing it out or saying it out loud, because you might think you know what it is, but when you take a step back and think, why am I really learning this like what is what am I gaining what is the purpose it's so essential to do because too often we just kind of almost go with the rat race we think it is so important to learn the latest and greatest because everyone else around us is learning this we see this a lot with you know the web 3 hype and then now the AI hype it's and there will be another one too and the reality is you really need to take a step back and answer the why before you move forward on anything else why are you learning this technology all right, I pulled up a chair to get a little, a little bit more comfy, you know? Once you are done figuring out your why as to why specifically you are learning, whatever technology is the case that you are learning, the next step before even figuring out what resource to use, what uh, study resources will help you, is to come up with a plan and be realistic. Too often times we kind of almost glamorize what this study pattern will look like, how frequently we can study. We think, oh, I'm going to, I'm so motivated as I'm thinking about this that there will be no problem with me keeping this motivation. The reality is if you are working, you have a family, you have fr like a social life, all these other responsibilities piling up, yeah, it will be, the motivation will disappear and you're going to have to look somewhere else, find that discipline in you in order to keep on studying. There are some really interesting tools now with AI that I will share with with you that will really help you as far as coming up with a plan or a schedule with your calendar for finding the perfect times to study. And for me, what I do is whatever I think is going to be realistic. So say I think to myself, all right, Tiff, I can study an hour a day to learn about, say AI. That's something I've been spending a lot of time learning about, I'm very interested in. Even though when I'm saying that to myself, I'll be like, oh yeah, I can definitely spend an hour a day. I'll actually cut that in half because what ends up happening is when you are making that commitment, you're so much more motivated than when you actually are following through through with it. So if it's possible in your situation, I would honestly cut it in half and anything extra that you do on top of what you've committed to, that's great. But at least you're hitting your goals and getting that sense of accomplishment on a daily or weekly basis. This AI really is pretty cool with time blocking. If you've seen some of my past videos, you know I really like time blocking. I speak about it a lot actually. And when I discovered this AI, it's called Trevor AI, you can literally put in blocks into your calendar. And as someone who's a visual person, this is super helpful. So let's go open Trevor AI. Okay, I don't wanna log into my account for it because you know I love you, but we don't need uh, you all seeing my calendar fully at this point. 
Uh, but let's see, they have an example because I really don't want to go into my calendar. Let's see here. All right, so you can see here on screen, it's good for task planning. So you can literally come up with different tasks throughout the day, different goals for your learnings, and then you can put them in throughout your calendar. And this is super handy too when you think about well, life, it changes all the time. Every day, what I think I'm gonna do, I end up doing different things, more, typically more things, unfortunately, and things get moved around. So anyways, it's called Trevor AI. I would highly suggest you check it out. It's really cool. And you also too, that satisfaction when you check off that you've done something, it's huge. Another area that AI has made significantly easier when you are studying is being able to step back and review, review your knowledge. This could be through quizzes, through flashcards, through whoever challenges you to really reinforce your learnings. It's one thing to take time out of your day and go through the studying process and really understand it, but it's a completely other skill set to be able to sit yourself down take time out of your day and test yourself, test yourself on your knowledge. For me, this is one of the best ways to really reinforce where I am at in my learnings, where there is holes. And although sometimes it can be frustrating, you spend all of this time learning these new skills or learning these new technologies and you aren't really where you wanna be, even through testing yourself, that is another form of studying altogether. Here are some AI tools that will really help you with testing your knowledge. All right, this is probably one of my new favorite tools. It's called Scholarcy. I think I'm pronouncing that right. And what it does is it summarizes key articles for you. So as you can see on screen here, this is an example that um, they give on the website. So how the weather affects the pain of citizen scientists using a smartphone app. So then as you can see here, you input the uh, URL or you can upload a document. So this is great for students as well. And then what it will do is you can export the summary flashcards, save to library, and it will share with you different key concepts, um, abstracts, summaries, highlights. Like this is really wild. So go down to key concepts and then say it's like cohort study. And then it will take you to learning more about that. So this is super interesting. Let's go to expanded. Okay, let's go back to their main page actually. Go here. And we can scroll down a little bit. Um, and they say they can save you hundreds of hours. So it's an online article summarizing tool. So it reads your research and uh, whether it be reports or websites and then breaks them down into bite-sized information. So this is really interesting. Um, the flashcards usually work right now. They're not working for me, but you can also export them as to flashcards, which is a great way to continue to study. Okay, I discovered, I actually discovered this. I think it's called Wolf Ram. Wolfram Alpha uh, in ChatGPT. It's one of the plugins that we actually kind of, no, I didn't share this with you already. And what it's really interesting though, so you can actually ask it or get it to explain to you things from mathematics, science and technology, society, everyday life. And it really breaks it down for you in a logical way that's easy to understand. So let's go by, let's say you're studying computer science. And you can see here, you can get very specific. So it's very technical or very math oriented, I would say. So this is really good for anyone who is more on that side or really finds that interesting. So you can do, um, for example, Turing machines, fractals, image processing, hashing. Uh, let's do hashing, compute hash codes, compute a hash code for a string. Okay, so let's say, oops, where did you go? Here we go. Natural language, or you can do math input. Um, all right, this is above my pay grade, I'm telling you. But it's really interesting. Let's do something like personal health. And once again, it's all around math and equations. So it's very logical in this way. So let's do how much iron in one cup of orange juice. 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 And you can see here, it will output it for you. And it's very specific, very data driven. So this is really interesting if you are someone who's studying one of these topics, uh, especially I think in the mathematics and technology realm and really find more of the, the math side of things, the logistical side of things, very interesting. This is for you. The other thing I would do when you are looking to quiz yourself and continue to see where your knowledge lies is honestly, if you have ChatGPT, I know it's so, talked about all the time, but honestly, there's so many use cases. GPT-4 in particular, if you go to it, you can do browse with Bing, which is super powerful in my opinion. And then you can prompt it to quiz you on whatever topic you are learning. So uh, ask me, and get very specific with it. So ask me, quiz me on 10, uh, let's say senior Python uh, questions 
people ask in interviews. This might not be perfect. I feel like this prompt could be improved quite a bit, but you get the idea. Then it will output after some time. Some questions that are typically asked. All right, let's see. Generators, meta classes. I mean, I don't know if people actually ask these kind of questions in interviews. I mean, to a degree they might, some of them, but it's important to know because they might not directly ask you these specific questions, but they're gonna ask, they're gonna be speaking to you about a lot of these topics and you need to know what you're speaking about. It's also a great way to really enhance your confidence before going into an interview by understanding as to where your knowledge stands and maybe you are a little nervous, but then you do some of these quizzes on here. Even if it's a false confidence boost, meaning that they don't ask you anything that you quizzed yourself on, it will give you that extra kind of oomph, mm, mm, is that what it is, that oomph, that oomph, oomph, to, to help you stand out and have that je ne sais quoi, I don't know, I'm embarrassing myself now. Anyways, chat GPT, GPT-4, prompt it to ask you some questions, you can't go wrong with it. All right, those are some interesting ways that you can really utilize AI for self-studying technical things. It is such an art form in itself, being able to really master learning technical things at a quick pace, but it will help you substantially in your career, in your business, whatever the case may be. If you are able to really harness these tools and utilize them to your full effect, that you are learning better and faster with them. I know some people are kind of hesitant about, I don't know if I want to incorporate AI tools into my day-to-day -to -day life or in my study patterns, is it really going to help me learn or is it doing the learning for me? If you are using some of the tools that I've listed throughout this video, you are totally fine, meaning you are the one in charge, you are the one in control learning still. These tools are here to assist you and help really with learning faster and more efficiently. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was so fun to make and really explore some of my favorite AI tools for learning at a quicker and faster rate. Leave down in the comments other videos that you want me to create, other questions you have. I do my best to answer every single question. And also too, if you have any other AI tools that you really love, let me know down below. I'm always looking for the next latest and greatest. All right, see you all soon. Thanks everyone.